Hi, I'm Sherry. I wanted to share an art project with you that I just taught to a group of four-year-old preschoolers. We started off by reading the book A Fish Out of Water. A lot of fun. It's an old school book, but the kids probably have not heard about it nowadays. It's from years ago when I was a little kid, but it's a great story about a little boy who feeds his fish too much. So. In unison with this book, we decided to do a project that involved water and a fish, and we talked about if we had our own fish. So we wanted to make a project that involved making an aquarium. Uh, the supplies that you'll need for this project are two pieces of cardboard. One, and I like to pre-assemble things if possible, I wanted to tape, this is how we're going to hang it at the end. So one piece of cardboard that's going to fit behind the other. You notice how there is a rectangle drawn on this cardboard fits perfectly with this rectangle that ultimately we're going to put these two together. The inside rectangle is going to be the fish tank and the kids are going to draw inside their fish tank things that their fish would like, whether it be seaweed or a house or maybe another friend. The outside, the frame part, is going to be where is your fish tank located? We talked about it, maybe it'd be in your house or we had some other silly ideas too. So two pieces of cardboard little plastic baggie that we're going to put our water aquarium in. And we need some markers, crayons, whatever you want to use to color the pictures with. Um, stickers. We used the fish stickers because it was hard for the little four-year-olds to draw a fish. So we decided to give them each a fish sticker that they put in the aquarium and then they drew around the fish sticker. And then to make the water blue, if we just used regular water it wouldn't show up very much so I took a little tiny dab of uh, this watercolor color and we're going to mix it in with our water that's going to get poured in this. All right. So to start, we're going to take our rectangle square and we're going to pick a fish. Now keep in mind that the water over the top of it is going to be an aqua blue. So I want something that's going to stand out. So I think I'm going to pick a, a pink fish. I'm going to put my little pink fish on there. And maybe my fish has a little friend so I'm going to take another little fish and stick that on there. Then, I think I'll probably add some seaweed in there. Now keep in mind, little kids will do whatever they're going to do. I'm just going to do a little quick version. They can use finger paints maybe, whatever. So you would just add little bits into your aquarium. Maybe there's a little house for them to go into. Alright, so that part's pretty quick. Then you're going to come over. Make sure that you have this the right way up. If you don't have it centered perfectly on your, on, your, on your board, make sure that you know where it's going to line up so that when you do draw your picture, it makes sense when you go to tape it on the back. So I think I'm going to put mine on a table, maybe a round table like that. Maybe there's a little, ah, maybe there's a little vase on my table. with a little plant growing out of that. The kids really went crazy with deciding where their little fish tank went. They really loved coming up with some fun things. And so maybe I also have just kind of just a brief color there. And maybe the background also we have some silly squiggly wallpaper maybe. Alright. Once you have the kids draw the front and the aquarium, then usually I bring them over to a sink. We have our water, and I'm going to add a little bit of the watercolor color. And of course, I can't get it open. Oh my goodness. I had a hard time getting my watercolor open, but now it's open. So I'm going to take just a little tiny dip on my spoon, and I'm going to stir it and stir it. And I don't want it to be too dark blue. I want it just to be clear enough that it has some color, but we'll be able to see through it when we um, look through it to see our fish. Next. I'm going to pour quite a bit of it into my clear bag. Now, baggies sometimes have writing on them. You want to try to find a baggie that has no writing on it. And this baggie is kind of small. You might want to use a larger baggie. This is all I had on hand. 
You don't fill it to the top because we are going to squish it between the two cardboards. But seal it up nice and tight and try to get some of the air out. Then we're going to take this bag and we're going to tape it. I have a lot of water in there. You, you hit and miss. You got to do it over a sink so you can pour some out if you need to. But it's going to get taped over to the top of this. So I'm going to stop the camera for a minute and, and get this just the right amount. Okay, I went ahead and adjusted the water in my plastic bag. I then taped it onto my cardboard. I'm using the darker tape so that it shows up. But you want to make sure that you completely cover the seal part of the plastic bag or it sometimes might leak if the kids are shaking, which they do, and they like to poke it and play with it, which is fun. You want to have enough water that it's going to cover where the fish are. It's okay if we have a little up here. When we put the other thing, it's going to squish it. So that is the first part. Then we're going to take the front and I'm going to tape it so that the water is showing through. Notice that the back cardboard, I'm going to line it up at the top so that it's going to fit perfectly in my square, but I did make it a little bit smaller so that I have room to tape it around um, securely. Otherwise, if they're exactly the same size, it's going to be difficult to get it just right. So you can kind of play with it. I think I also maybe need to add a little bit more tape at the bottom, which we did with some, some we didn't. It depended on how much water we had, but I'm going to go ahead and tape down my little corners. Just kind of holds it in place a little bit better. And again, you'd be using clear tape, so it wouldn't, wouldn't be showing quite as much as mine. So I went ahead and I taped on three sides. Using heavy duty tape is best because the lighter tape it'll start to fall apart. And remember the kids are probably going to be squishing at the water. Uh, but these are fun to hang up, um, a whole bunch of them in a classroom or even in your own home. Uh, and then I, I just colored it a little darker. So anyway, so there's our fun little um, fish project. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks.